All right, so this is going to be episode two of the Go Knows podcast. And um, as far as I know, this is December 2nd, um, 2019, about 7.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, We haven't found a new coach yet or they haven't announced a new coach yet. Maybe they have found him, but they haven't announced it. To the public yet And it's just like What are you waiting on Like what I mean you The timeline was By the end of November If not before Is what I thought I heard uh, uh, Co- Coburn say And it's just like What I mean What is the thinking here Are we still chasing Bob Stoops Like who I mean I mean Can you give your fan base Any kind of nuggets Or anything like, because ultimately it's the fan base that supports the program. I, I just don't know what to say at this point. Um, this, this is going to affect recruiting. You know, I was reading on the Internet that uh, the early signing period is open now. And... Uh, You know, by you not having a head coach in place now, you know, I thought we should have been ready to roll yesterday. Uh, But you don't have a guy in place yet. So this, you know, you've already lost several recruits. I'm not going to act like they're five stars, but hell, we need all the players we can get at this point. Because we don't know who's staying and who's, you know, who's leaving. So we need every guy in our class we need. Um, you you would have to say that Cam Akers is going pro. You would have to say that Cam Akers is going pro just from, you know he he to me he's probably going to be the greatest knoll to never have you know significant talent around him as far as like an offensive line or a defense. Um. Tamori and Terry, he's a great deep threat, but can he run routes? That's the question. Um, from from what I've seen, he's not a great route runner. He can just run go routes. So, I mean, another guy named Randy Moss made it to the Hall of Fame off go routes. So, you know, what do I know? I'm just I'm speaking from a fan's pr- perspective. I'm not a coach. I know a little bit of X's and O's. Um, you know, I don't have, I'm not an insider for Florida State football. I'm just, I'm speaking from a fan's perspective. So, um, you know, I think a couple of things that the next coach is going to have to do to be successful, first and foremost, you know, strength and conditioning. Because it really doesn't matter who you get as a coordinator here, offense or defense. Your strength and conditioning has to to take a gigantic leap forward. Because we just look soft and just weak out there. We're, We're getting pummeled. Right? We need a standalone football facility. You know, Jimbo Fisher told you that. Five years ago You know He seen where College football was going I call it football Cathedral You know he needed that football cathedral To keep getting To keep getting players And Florida State was too cheap They didn't even want to build an indoor practice facility Um And let's face it man College football now is head coach and boosters paying. So those are the two things you need to get quality players. A good head coach and boosters who's going to pay up. Um, I just hope we can keep this class together, man. 
you know, Jeff Sims seemed, I watched some of his uh, highlights. Seemed like he a pretty good quarterback. Uh, you know, I think he would he would match up pretty good with uh, Kendall Browns and his system. But they gotta they gotta fix that offensive line, man. In particular, the tackles. I mean, you got Christian Armstrong, Christian Meadows, Chaz Neal, Jalen Goss. Hey, them guys got to play, man. You got to put them out there, and see what they can do. You you telling me Abdul Bello is more talented than them? Those guys? I can't believe that. I just in my mind, I just cannot believe that. Um, and you know, just from re- I, I was at work, so I didn't get to watch the Florida game, but just from watching the the highlights on uh, YouTube, uh, I don't know what the hell how Harlan Barnett was calling on defense. Okay, we know that they're going to pass the majority. He threw like 40 something times, right? So why are we not blitzing every fucking play? Make him get rid of the ball. If 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 it's a big play and he take it to the house, so what? You still lost 40 to 17. So goddamn, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die shooting. I'm going down shooting, man. I mean, you you dropping the goddamn linebacker. You got a linebacker playing center field, dog. Number 22. Uh, I can't think of his name. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like I said, I'm no football. Uh, I'm no football uh, savant in terms of X's and O's. But I, I know that a, I know that a linebacker is not supposed to be playing center field, right? Unless it's uh, Isaiah Simmons from Clemson. That's about the only linebacker that I've seen in a long time that I think that could actually do that. Um, so Harlan Barnett got to go, dog. And you know, I. His first year, he ran the 4-2-5. The defense was pretty good. Oh, oh, uh, oh, Willie Taggart made him switch to the 3-4. I think Willie Taggart was trying to get fired. That's just my personal opinion. I think he was purposely sabotaging stuff to get fired. That's just my personal opinion. Um. He didn't want to be there no more. Once he saw that Florida State wasn't willing to spend the money like your boy Phil Knight at Oregon, he said, let me get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> let me put Hornybrook out here. That's what I think. Um... They projecting us going to the what is it, the Quick Lanes Bowl in Detroit. We could play Michigan State. Uh, whatever, you know. Whatever, dude. You know, if, if anything good comes of that, it's gonna be the practices. You get those additional practices. You get some of these young guys to play. Yada yada yada, and. uh I don't know, man. Um, I'm just kind of dumbfounded that they haven't named a coach yet. And, uh, you know, for the life of me, I'm just trying to understand, like, what have you been doing for the last month? Like, why is it taking so long? Um, and I was thinking about something last night at work. I was like, why they don't just switch back to the old, the previous uh, uniforms? I hate, I hate, I hate the, the these uniforms that they wear, dog. I hate them. They need to go back to the previous uh, uniforms 
and really the previous logo. I don't even know why they did all that. I don't know if I, you know, I'm not a superstitious person, but ever since we put on these uniforms, dog, we have sucked. So, and maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I'm just uh, reaching for straws. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just, you know, I'm a San Francisco 49ers fan and. Usually the way it works for me Usually the way it works for me is When my 49ers are doing good Florida State is doing good So um, You know not to have Florida State in contention for really anything You know It sucks man Um But um, if Kendall Brown stays, there's a pretty good chance we're going to get De'Eric King from Houston, who knows this system like the back of his hand. So, you know, that could definitely get us to nine or ten wins. And uh, he's a very mobile guy. So you wouldn't have to have, like, elite offensive linemen out there. You could actually run that read option scheme with a guy with a capable arm. So. That's something to keep a lookout for. Um, um, and, you know, I just, why didn't they listen to Jimbo Fisher, man? That's just, that's just the question that I have to keep asking myself. Why didn't this administration listen to Jimbo Fisher five years ago when he was telling y'all, I need, these are the things that I need. And they wanted to be cheap. Now, now you ready to play big boy football. Now it's going to be a rebuild either way. It don't matter what coach you get. It's going to be a rebuild. You know, next year you're not going 12 and 0 and going to the playoff. All right? I think next year at best you can hold for 8 and 4. That's if you get if you get a, a competent coach. 8 and 4 is probably what you're looking at. 8 and 4, 9 and 3 maybe. So I'm going to keep my hopes up. Keep pulling for my guys, man. Episode 2.